Stan and I would have long discussions when I was at Marvel about his favorite characters. Mm -hmm. And I remember going into him one day and asking him, I mean, obviously Spider-Man is his favorite. But he talked a lot about X-Men because he loved X-Men. And one day I was talking to him and he was saying, he didn't say these words, but it added up to the way I took it. I said, I get it. It's about disenfranchised teens. He said, well, I've never quite thought of it that way, but yes, it's kids who are different and they're being ostracized and punished because they're different. And he said, every kid, including me, felt like an awkward kid and we didn't feel we belonged and we, we were just were mortified when we go to school every day and we stuck out and we didn't, we didn't know where we belonged. And that was his inspiration for X-Men. So we had talked so much about it, that's why I said to him, the first show we'll do is X-Men, uh, and then we're gonna do Spider-Man, and then we had other properties to do. So when we started Fox, uh, I waited one season, because we had so much to get done, and then I told my boss, we're gonna, I'm gonna order X-Men, and he said, uh-uh. And I was really taken aback, I said, well, I thought I had green light authority here and I could make the creative decisions. He said, Margaret, I think that X-Men is a mistake. Why do you believe in it so much? And I told him all the reasons. He says, well, I don't know, I don't really. He says, and I don't see any enthusiasm from you. And I said, well, my enthusiasm is for the shows, not for, <laughs> I really believe in it. And um, so, he, he didn't, he thought it was a mistake. He thought that, again, a comic book, maybe it was too esoteric. I can't remember all the reasons he didn't like it. But he said to me, okay, Margaret, I, I'll, I, you do have the, I'll let you do it, but you understand if it doesn't work, it's not gonna work for us together here. He said, are you willing to put that much behind the show? And I said, yeah. And then after that discussion, I went in with Power Rangers and that's when he said no. And we, so X-Men came out first mm. and we went from being the fourth network to number one with X-Men. And then months later, I premiered Power Rangers and we went from number one to the stratosphere. Mm. And it was two shows that nobody believed in, that the industry didn't believe in, and yet they just didn't understand what kids liked, in my opinion. 